It is 1.59 Monday morning. Monday afternoon, not morning. I'm not time, trying to time travel. Um, my 8A classes, they did the electrolytes versus non-electrolytes lab that my B-day classes did on Friday. Um, it seemed to go well. I thought they got into it. Um, I felt like they got into it. So once they finished with that, they came, and I cut off the lights and just played music, and, and they had their phones out with like flashlights, because um, Surprisingly enough, it does get dark in here, even though I have the two big windows, it's dark back in the lab. So I have my, I don't think you can really see it, but I still have my lab lights under the cabinet, which I need to fix because they've been falling off and I just, things have been falling down in my classroom and at this point I'm just tired of fixing things. That didn't happen at all last year in my old classroom. But, um, so on Tuesday and Wednesday I'm going to wrap up the lab and then I'm also going to do another lab so at this point like I said in my other vlog now it's just like some one of the students was like another lab I'm like well you we can just do packets if you like I'm more than welcome to make cat packets or like no 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 let's do labs um and that reminded me of um in the past before I left teaching the first time that students would do that like we're doing another lab I'm like yeah we do labs all the time I just didn't do them as, as much as I would have liked the school year um I'm going to actually wrap up here and take care of some stuff so that way I don't have to do it first thing tomorrow morning So I just took down one lab, cleaned up, and I'm about to set up another lab because we are doing a Kool-Aid lab. Actually, it's a concentration lab, but using Kool-Aid to demonstrate that concept. So let me finish setting up here so that way I'm ready by the time six period begins today. It's 4.59 p.m. Tuesday. Um, I'm actually here a little bit longer than I wanted to be because I misplaced my car key inside my book bag and so I spent about the last 15, 20 minutes trying to find my car key. Anyway, um, today, bro uh, not progress reports, report cards were due, so I submitted grades. My students did a lab, but I'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. It's a Kool-Aid lab, so they really got into doing that. But I am going to head home. <laughs> It's 2.49 p.m. My students did, or at least my 8 classes, finish the concentration slash molarity lab slash Kool-Aid lab. So they made three different concentrations, a Kool-Aid, a 0 0.1, 0 0.4, and a 0.7 molar solution solutions. And they were able to see the difference, but if they wanted to taste the difference between all three, they could do that. I gave them these small little plastic cups, which, um, I don't know, I might have to reconsider because they were like, yeah, we're gonna take Kool-Aid shots. I need some lime and, and, and some salt so I can take a Kool-Aid shot. I was like, uh, no. Um, so that was great because I gave them some notes so that way they understood how to calculate molarity. And then before they could do the lab, they had to figure out how to make um, 100 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution, 100 mils of a 0.4, and 100 mils of a 0.7 molar solution and then once um, I checked off then they were able to come back they either worked in pairs um, some students wanted to work in groups of three and then some students if they wanted to work by themselves if I had open space they were able to do that so they really got into it um, and it seemed you know again I seem like they got into it just based on the conversations and the smiles and the laugh and just the fact that they wanted to make Kool-Aid so I'm gonna actually set out the last of the cups and then get ready for my fourth period it is 4 39 p.m. School just ended a few minutes ago. My students, we did another lab, a dilution lab. 
uh, actually some of the students, a few of the students complained that, that we did too many labs at this point. And I think I said this earlier, we could always do packets, not that I would actually do packet work, but I'm surprised that a few of them complained that we're doing lab after lab after lab. That's what science is all about. Um, so earlier in the week, we did a concentration lab with Kool-Aid, where they made three different concentrations of Kool-Aid by measuring out a certain number of grams, because I told them that they needed to make a 0.1, 0.4, and a 0.7 um, molar concentration of Kool-Aid and um, 100 mils of each. So they did that. So today, I gave them the formula for um, the dilution formula and then worked three problems. It was an I do, we do, you do. And then I sent them to the back where they made a certain concentration of Kool-Aid and then they diluted it twice using um, the work that they had learned that day. And then they compared it to um, my solutions and my dilutions up on the middle lab table. And that was class all today. So it went pretty well. The students got into it. But I'm going to head home so I can enjoy the rest of my afternoon. Just in a wrong example. Nah, it's not wrong. You should have told, you should have told them not to round. Did you round in yours? No, he went 12 point. TGIF, it is 2.49 p.m. I have six more minutes before the start of my next period class. My 8A students are doing what my B-day students did yesterday, the dilution lab, so warm up. We did some notes real quick. <laughs> we did some notes real quick, and then they went back and did the dilution lab. So I need to um, actually replace their, the Kool-Aid powder in their cups real quick before next period begins. So I will chat with you next week. Well, that's it. If there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. And if you're interested in checking out some of my other vlogs, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. As always, thanks for watching.